it, it is our understanding that uh, uh, there were four people traveling in two vehicles. What they were doing there, I'm not sure of. They, like most contractors, they have a responsibility throughout the country. Uh, as we work on governance, essential services, restoring the economy, we've got coalition employees throughout the cities, throughout the country, uh, trying to work with the people of Iraq, trying to work with the organizations. What uh, those contractors were doing there and whether they had a military escort, and uh, can you confirm? There are four families uh, in this world today that are going to get knocks on the doors, and you don't want to be on either side of that door when that happens, either hearing the news or delivering the news. There'll be five military families that get that same news today. But that isn't going to stop us from doing our mission. In fact, it would be disgracing the deaths of these people if we were to stop our missions. And this ever end? Sure, Ken. Uh, we're moving forward with a political process that uh, you're well familiar with. We have uh, transitional administrative law. In terms of these attacks, these are horrific, despicable attacks. We condemn these attacks in the strongest possible terms. Uh, the stakes are high in Iraq, and this is a time of testing. The enemies of freedom, the enemies of the Iraqi people are trying to shake our will, but they cannot. Uh, we will not be intimidated. Our will and our resolve are firm. Uh, democracy is taking root and there is no turning back and the Iraqi people want us to stay and finish the job and we will.